Hey everyone, I'm going to leave these contact numbers right here. If you are disturbed by what you see in this video, I encourage you to exercise your First Amendment right to seek redress against your government. Also, I'm giving anyone and everyone permission to mirror this video. Go nuts. Monetize it. Do whatever you want with it. I just ask that you mirror it in full, if at all possible, I know it's a long video, and you please include Joseph Cutro, MCI Concord in the title. Thanks guys. Also, if you're going to choose to record the call, despite the recent ruling, you can never be too safe because it's still open to interpretation as to who the ruling applies to. So. If you choose to record the call, I'm going to just recommend that you tell the person you're recording them. Otherwise, you might leave yourself open for a wiretap charge. So as you probably have already seen from my little preview video, I have received a privacy complaint from Lieutenant Joseph Cutro of MCI Concord against the video that I posted of him on Wednesday, December 12th. What you're about to see are emails back and forth to YouTube and to Lieutenant Cutro and the phone calls that I made today in response to this violation of my First Amendment right. We all know that the First Amendment protects us from recording our government. In addition, there has been a court case that is widely cited and its purpose is to protect citizens specifically from recording law enforcement officers. And it just so happens to be out of Boston, same state where this occurred and it's called Glick v. Kanif. In this ruling, which has been used as a precedent in cases nationwide ever since, a citizen's right to film government officials, including law enforcement officers, in the discharge of their duties in a public space is a basic, vital, and well-established liberty safeguarded by the First Amendment. This is a promise that I will be filing a lawsuit against you, Joseph Cutro, and the Massachusetts Department of Corrections for violating my civil rights. If this video and subsequent complaint videos are taken down by YouTube, I encourage you to withdraw your privacy complaints as you are a government official and you have absolutely no expectation of privacy, especially when you walk up to me and put yourself on camera when I am standing on a public sidewalk. If these videos get taken down by YouTube, I will be suing you. Hi, I'm recording this call for public record. I'm calling from Granite State Transparency, and I had a prison guard file a privacy complaint against me, and I'm looking to speak with someone about that. Okay, so I can give you our uh, Department of Correction legal team. You can call our legal department. They can advise you what the next steps would be. Okay, just a moment. What's the number? Hold on one and what's your name? I don't want to give my name. You don't want to give your name? No. I'm sure you're aware of my video because your Lieutenant Kutro has filed a privacy complaint against me. Okay. So the number you want to give a uh, call to our legal division is 617-727-3300. Legal division is Benita. Hi, I'm recording this call for public record. I'm calling from Granite State Transparency, 
and I had a privacy complaint filed against me by Lieutenant Coutreau of MCI Concord, and I'm looking to speak with someone to discuss that and why that happened. What is your name? Granite State Transparency. Can I have your first name, please? No. Um, one moment. Hi, this is C-Ray. Can I help you? Yes, I'm calling from Granite State Transparency. I have a YouTube channel. And I'm calling because one of your lieutenants at MCI Concord has filed a privacy complaint against me and I'd like to discuss how we can address that and why this has happened. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Um, okay, first of all, what is Granite State Transparency? It's a YouTube channel. Okay. I'm sorry, what, what was your name? I didn't give it. Um, so I okay. was recording well, from... your name. I'm sorry? Somebody needs your name. Uh, no, you don't need my name. I'm actually calling about a privacy complaint. So, I don't know what that is, ma'am. I'm, I'm going to explain it to you. So I was recording. Oh, on, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was recording on the public sidewalk in Concord, Massachusetts on December 12th. And I posted what I recorded from the public sidewalk onto my YouTube channel. And then um, I believe it was last night, I received an email that Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of the MCI Concord Prison has filed a privacy complaint against me. And I called MCI Concord to find out what happened and why that is. And they told me to call this number. Okay, so, so I guess I don't understand what it is that you're, you're asking me to do. Um, by the way, I, I believe that you mentioned to my secretary that the call is being recorded? Yes, it is. Okay, well, um, I'm not going to speak with you on a recorded call, so if you'd like to call back and we'll speak when it's not recorded, and, and you did need to let me know that um, before we started speaking. So if you would like to call back, um, you may speak with me um, directly, but not recorded, and my number here is 617-727-3300, and I'm at extension 1147. Okay, so... Um, let's leave it at that. Thank you. Uh, ma'am? To Massachusetts Department of Corrections. To speak with a live operator, please press 3. Legal Division is Benita. Yes, I'm recording this call for public record. I just called and was rudely hung up on by the person that I was transferred to. Um, I'm just calling to speak with someone about uh, legal actions that have been filed against me by a prison guard. Um, is there someone other than who I previously spoke with that maybe isn't so afraid of being recorded that I can actually have a conversation? I'm not sure. Hold on. Thanks. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Nobody is available right now. Do you want to call back or leave a message? Uh, no, I'd like to speak with someone. And may you also remind whoever you're asking of the uh, Veritas ruling that came out four days ago saying that I don't have to notify anybody that I'm recording you. I'm doing so as a courtesy. I'd like to, I only have 48, like no, I only have, like call back? excuse me, I only have 48 hours to respond to this threat that I have received from your prison guard. So I would like to speak with someone now because um, like after said, today, I'm, I don't have the opportunity to. And the woman that I did speak with hung up on me without giving me a chance to explain why I was calling. And I'm trying to explain to you, the attorneys are not available right now. They probably away from the desk or out to lunch. So either you can leave your name or you can call back. Can I try speaking with the person who hung up on me and reminding her of the Veritas case that just came out of Boston? Uh, 
that allows me to record her? I mean, you are the legal department. I would think you would be aware of this. Can you hold on? Perhaps not you. You know, I don't think you're a lawyer, but whoever it is I spoke with. Oh. Hello? Hi. Hi, I'm going to turn to you to the same person in just a few moments. Okay, and I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me her name? I, I didn't remember it. Seaway. I'm sorry? That's the woman who I'm going to speak with? Yes, it is. C. Ray? Yes. Is that a first name or last name? First name. And how do, how do you spell that, please? C. C. C dot R-A-Y-E. C dot R-A-Y-E? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Can I help you? Yes. Hi. I I think uh, we may have got disconnected before I, I got a chance to uh, clarify, and I, and I apologize if we got off on the wrong foot. Um, so this call is being recorded for public record. I am letting you know that. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of uh, Judge Saris's recent ruling in the Veritas case, but I am allowed to record uh, phone calls uh, with government officials, at least in the First Circuit. Anyway, I'm calling because of a complaint that uh, Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of MCI Concord, um, a privacy complaint that he filed against me. And I'm hoping that I can either get a contact number uh, directly to him if he has an extension, or if someone can speak with me about why this has happened. You know, it's understandable if he doesn't want to talk to me directly, <laughs> and that's okay. I'm just hoping to talk to someone from MCI or the Department of Corrections to let me know why this has happened. Hi, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, so I can't address you by that. Um, but just to let you know that our policy here at the department is that we will not speak on a recorded line, and I believe I did mention that to you in our prior phone call. Um, okay. Um, I, I understand that you might not be the person who wrote that policy, but do you know why that is? Um, especially given the recent ruling in Veritas saying that uh, citizens have the right to record their government officials, including on a phone call? Perhaps. As I stated, as I stated to you earlier, ma'am, our policy is that we are not to speak on a recorded line. Okay, are you aware that that policy is unconstitutional, though? Are you aware of the Veritas case? Are you aware of the Veritas ruling? As I stated, our policy is not to speak on a recorded line. Was there anything else that I can help you with, ma'am? Yes. Um, would you be able to give me, uh, hopefully since he's a lieutenant, I would think he has a voicemail or an extension um, of Joe Coutreau of MCI Concord. So I could leave him a voicemail and just, you know, hopefully reach out and see if he'd be interested in speaking with me. If not, I'll do a public records request, but um, as I stated, I'm trying to resolve this in a timely manner. So hopefully, I mean, you know, you can give me that number, but if you don't want to, then... And if you would like to give me your name and telephone number, um, I could attempt to relay that information to him. Um, well, I can give you my email address. I'd be willing to do that, but considering that this is a privacy complaint that your officer, uh, excuse me, your lieutenant filed against me, I don't, I don't really think that's a fair exchange. And hopefully you can at least, you know, understand that. You don't have to agree with it, but. Why don't you give me that email address, ma'am? Okay. It's uh, all one word. It's granite state transparency at gmail.com Was there anything else, ma'am? Yes, I was wondering, do you have a uh, public information officer or a media relations person within the Department of Corrections that, you know, I could give a call to? I believe I've, I've, you know, I can go back to your 
uh, Department of Corrections website and look up that information, but it would be great yeah. if you could give it to me. Yeah, and as I stated before, since the call is still um, being recorded, um, I'm going to have to terminate the call at this time. Um, good day. MCI Cocky, can I help you? Yes, hi. I believe I just spoke with you. I'm calling on a recorded line. Would it be possible to get the voicemail extension for Lieutenant Coutreau of your facility? I'd just like to leave him a voicemail. He actually does not offices don't have individual um, voice recording. He actually works a 3 to 11 shift. Uh, he comes in at 3 o'clock. So if you call, I mean, shift change is a little hectic. If you call 315 or later, you'd be able to speak to him yourself if you'd like. Um, I'll certainly try that. I don't think he'd probably want to talk to me, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> is, is there perhaps um, maybe a supervisor that isn't busy at the moment that I could speak with? Well, I could send you the shift commander actually runs the show. I sent it down to the superintendent's office, who okay. would be the top dog. But we can try the uh, the shift commander if you'd like. Yeah, you that would, give that a shot? That would be great. Thank you. Okay, hold on one second. The person you want to reach is not currently available. You reach the captain's office, leave your name and number, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yes, hello, Captain. I'm calling on a recorded line. I'm um, sorry, I didn't get your name from your voicemail. But I'm calling from the YouTube channel, Granite State Transparency. And the reason for my call is that uh, your Lieutenant Coutreau uh, placed a privacy complaint against me in a video that I posted to my channel. Um, I assume you're aware of it. Uh, it's okay if you're not. But I'm calling to discuss why was the privacy complaint um, put on me, uh, given that I was recording from a public sidewalk um, and off, uh, excuse me, Lieutenant Coutreau uh, approached me while I was doing my recordings. Um, anyways, uh, you must be busy, so please feel free to give me an email. Uh, my email is granitestatetransparency at gmail.com and I will try uh, to call again later this afternoon. Thank you. Sorry, I'm calling on a recorded line. I'm looking to see if you have a media relations or a public information officer. I don't have that number, and I'm looking at your uh, website right now for the number. You're looking for, what was it again? Um, either, I don't know if you have a, a public information officer for the DOC or a media relations department. or media relations? Or Hold someone that, that has yeah. that. Okay. Let me look. Thanks. Massachusetts Department of Correction, desk of Jason Dobson. If you're the media calling after hours, please call the duty station at 508-422-3480, and they will get a hold of me. If it's during work hours and you're unable to get a hold of me, please call Cara Savelli at 508-422-3353. Hi, yes, I'm calling on a recorded line, and I'm calling, I'm the owner of the YouTube channel called Granite State Transparency, and I'm calling in regards to a privacy complaint that Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of MCI Concord has filed against me, and unfortunately I have not been able to speak with anyone at MCI Concord or your legal division in Boston in regards to this matter. Uh, so I'm reaching out to you. Um, I'm going to leave you my phone number. My phone number is, I'm also going to leave you my email address. It's granitestatetransparency at gmail.com. And again, I'm calling in regards to Lieutenant Coutreau in a privacy complaint he's filed against me. And I'm looking to get clarification about why this was filed and how we can resolve this matter. If you could please give me a call back, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. You have reached Earth Development, media coordinator at the Department of Correction. If you need immediate assistance, please hang up and call Jason Dobson, Deputy Director of Communications, at 508-422-3371. After business hours calls 
should be directed to the department duty station at 508-422-3480. I will review any voicemails left on this machine the next time I'm in the office. Thank you. Yes, I'm calling on a recorded line. Uh, hi, Kara. I'm calling as the owner of the YouTube channel. It's called Granite State Transparency. And I just left a voicemail with Jason Dobson. I wasn't sure if he was in the office today, but I figured I'd give you a call as well. Um, I'm calling in regards to Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of MCI Concord. Uh, I'm not sure if you've been made aware of this as of yet, uh, but he has filed a privacy complaint against a video that I posted on my channel in which I was recording from the public sidewalk. And I'm calling to uh, find out why this was filed and try and resolve this. I would appreciate a call back um, if you have time. Uh, I only have 48 hours to respond to this, uh, but I understand that you may not even be in the office at the moment. My phone number is, or if you find it easier to email me, I'll give you that. It's granite state transparency at gmail.com. And again, I'm calling in regards to Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of MCI Concord in a privacy complaint that he has filed against me uh, under his official duties as a corrections officer. Thank you. Bye bye. One moment, please. Get out of control. Hi, this is Granite State Transparency calling on a recorded line for the superintendent's office, please. Sure, would you like to speak to them? Wait one second, let me put you through. Hi, this is Granite State Transparency calling on a recorded line for the superintendent's office. Hold on. The person you want to reach is not currently available. Hi, you've reached the voicemail for Susan Lynch, administrative assistant to the superintendent. I am unavailable to answer your call at this time. Please leave your name and your telephone number and I will return your call as soon as I return. Thank you. Hi, this is Granite State Transparency calling on a recorded line. I'm calling uh, because I keep getting hung up on when I attempt to speak with someone. Uh, but nobody wants to speak to me. I just called, um, got through with Joe Coutreau, who is the person I'm wishing to speak with, and he promptly hung up on me as soon as I identified myself. And it appears that uh, no one in your facility will speak with me. Um, so please give me a call back. My phone number is, thank you. I didn't say I have my car on state property. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just don't really want to answer any questions. Fine, Besides explaining what my intentions are, which is just to record public employees on public property. That's fine. That's fine. And I've given you my name and my rank. Okay, so now you're saying it is okay to record from the no, sidewalk? No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. It, I'm saying. Am I breaking a law? I didn't say you're breaking a law. I've asked you nicely but, not, so you'd not to record state property. So. so you'd prefer that I didn't, but I'm not breaking a law? That's not what I said. I've, I've told you that's that's our rule here at MCI Congress. We don't allow people to take pictures of the prison. There's the rotary, as you can see. Hi. You should have you taken pictures of the prison, all right? What is that? Just it, no photography, state facilities. Are you a police officer or a corrections officer? No, I'm lieutenant control. I'm assigned to the perimeter here at MCI Congress. Okay, so you're a lieutenant within the prison complex? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, there's, so there's no photography on the prison complex? No photography of the facility for security reasons. We're not trying to be difficult. We're not trying to make, make it difficult for you. All right? Okay. I'm just out taking pictures in public. That's fine. Yeah, I don't have any intention of going onto the prison property. I'm just going to take pictures in public. That's all. all. Right, so just be clear, you're going to take pictures of the facility even though we've asked you very nicely not to. Am I breaking a law? I'm just asking you. If that's your intention, that's fine. Uh, are you going to detain me if I... I'm not, I'm not detaining you. I'm, not, I'm asking you a question. Yes, that is my intention. That's your intention. My intention is to record public employees on public property. All right. why, why are you recording public employees? 
I don't really want to answer any more questions. Um, you know, I don't have any ill intent. I'm just recording public. I don't suppose you want to give me your name, do you? No. Did you park your car on state property? Or by towel on? I don't want to answer any I questions. Did, huh? All right, well, if you have no real business here, if you can move your car off state property, I'd appreciate that. Wait a minute. You just said if I have no real business here. I've already explained several times that my intent is to record public employees on public property. Besides being a basic First Amendment protected activity, the First Circuit has already ruled on this issue in 2011. In Glick v. Kniff, the First Circuit Court told us what we already know. The public has the right to film law enforcement officers in the course of their official duty from public property. A citizen's right to film government officials, including law enforcement officers, in the discharge of their duties in a public space is a basic, vital, and well-established liberty safeguarded by the First Amendment. I didn't say I have my car on state property. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just don't really want to answer any questions, right, besides explaining what my intentions are, which is just to record public employees on public property. That's fine, that's fine. And I've given you my name and my rank. Okay, so now you're saying it is okay to record from the no, sidewalk? No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. It, 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 am I breaking a law? I didn't say you're breaking a law. I've asked you nicely but, not, so you'd not to record the state property. So. so you'd prefer that I didn't, but I'm not breaking a law? That's not what I said. I've, I've told you that's that's our rule here at MCI Congress. We don't allow people to take pictures of the prison. Do you have that in writing anywhere? Yeah, it's posted up on all the signs all around. Probably right. You probably walked by one where you parked. I would. I didn't see those, so I, you know, I'll go take a look at them again. Okay. But I would assume that would be uh, applying to the prison property and not the public sidewalk. You're taking pictures of the facility, man. It's for security reasons that we ask you not to do it. Is there something unsecure that people from the road and the sidewalk walking by can't see? It becomes a safety issue when you take pictures. Okay. Why? If the answer is no, and you're going to continue doing what you're doing, that's fine. No, I'm just trying to understand. I'm not. I, it sounds like I'm coming off argumentative, but I'm really yeah, not. It, it does. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be. I'm, I'm not just... trying to be difficult. It's three o'clock. I just came on post. Yeah. All right. I got three phone calls. Okay. Right? Guys, see you. I don't want to. Walking around. I don't want to interrupt you from your duties right. whatsoever. I'm just taking pictures in public. And then, um, I believe it was last night, I received an email that Lieutenant Joe Coutreau of the MCI Concord Prison has filed a privacy complaint against me. And I called MCI Concord to find out what happened and why that is. And they told me to call this number. Okay, so... Uh... So I guess I don't understand what it is that you're you're asking me to do. Um, by the way, I, I believe that you mentioned to my secretary that the call was being recorded. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, um, I'm not going to speak with you on a recorded call. So if you'd like to call back, and we'll speak when it's not recorded. And, and you did need to let me know that um, before we started speaking. So if you would like to call back, um, you may speak with me um, directly, but not recorded. And my number here is six one seven seven two seven thirty three hundred. And I'm at extension 1147. Okay, so um, let's leave it at that. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am? 